everybody. I wanted to walk through something really quick that I was racking my brain over. Um, this was helpful for me to figure it out. I'm sure it's probably going to be helpful for everybody that reviews this video. So uh, I'm just going to go into Report Center, and we're going to figure out the uh, average client lifetime value here in SA. So I'm just going to go to Report Center. I'm going to create an analysis here. And I'm going to blur out some of these values just to protect uh, client information. But um, so we're going to create an analysis. We're going to use, um, I think you can use invoices or payments. I don't think it really matters. It's really just about getting the, the data that's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and go to invoices. <clears throat> and I only need a little bit of data from this. So I'm just going to pull in the invoice date and the invoice amount. And I'm going to pull in clients. And we're going to go ahead and uh, find the client name. And I'm going to hit OK. All right, so once we have this data, we're going to go down here and I'm going to click the client name tab. And we're going to uh, merge duplicate cells. So oh, now you can see that we're sorting the client uh, or regrouping the client name. And we have another column here for invoice amount. Um, now I'm going to go into formulas here on the top. And we're going to insert a formula, which is sum field over partition by group field. And I'm just going to do, um, let's just do sum. Make it really easy. So in this part, we're going to need to pull in the actual field that we're going to summarize, which is the invoice amount. And we're going to partition by, and we're going to put in the um, client name group field right here. And then we just want to change the display format to dollar amount and click add. All right, so now you can see that we have a summary of the total amount um, of all of the invoice amounts here on the left side. And I can go ahead and um, add a chart here so that you can display this number. And I'm just going to use the gauge and number type. And the data column that we're going to be using is the sum column. And we're going to average that and click OK. And there is your average client lifetime value number that you can uh, now save to your visual gallery and uh, put onto your dashboard. Um, awesome. So I was super excited to figure that out. If you have any questions, feel free to contact, contact us at Ready Business Systems. My name is Robert Kane, and I appreciate it. Thanks so much.